What is the potassium sodium ratio? So really what we're talking about is the ratio in our diets of how much of the mineral sodium we're getting relative to how much of the mineral potassium we're getting. And the reason why this is important is something called membrane potential. So potassium is the main positively charged ion inside our cells. And sodium is the main positively charged ion outside of our cells. And the those, uh, those ions on either side of the cell membrane cause what's called a concentration gradient, which then uh, conducts the flow of ions across the cell membrane. That's called membrane potential. And that is used in everything that like uses like electricity in our bodies. So nerve impulses, uh, muscle contraction, our heart beating, uh, it is like really, really important for all of those things to have sodium and potassium in about equal quantities on either side of our of our cells to like regulate all of those systems. Um, the reason why this is so important from a like broader health perspective is our kidneys. So our kidneys are responsible for regulating potassium and sodium. So like if you measure low sodium or low potassium or high sodium or high potassium in your blood, it doesn't really directly reflect diet. Like it can, like you can consume such low sodium that your serum sodium levels drop. But like the, the first thing that that's a sign of is a really unhappy kidneys, kidneys that do not like life right now. And uh, are then therefore going to be up to mischief and shenanigans. So uh, it's generally showing that the kidneys are not doing a great job of regulating those two really important electrolytes. So our kidneys are responsible for shuttling out extra potassium, shuttling out extra sodium. But again, the ratio of those ions is really important for how uh, kidneys filter our blood and form urine. So, uh, and wait, and how our kidneys control blood pressure. So that is why High sodium diets uh, increase blood pressure, that increases risk for cardiovascular disease, and that is why increasing potassium is potentially even more important for lowering blood pressure than reducing sodium. So bringing, bringing those ratios back to like close to about equal, like close to about one to one with some, some, fuzzy, some fuzzy wiggle room uh, is where the kidneys don't have to work super hard to get rid of extra anything. Uh, they're effectively filtering the blood, they're regulating blood pressure, and then that's not putting like the high blood pressure strain on the cardiovascular system. So uh, it all has to do with the flow, the flow of ions uh, caused by other ions because uh, potassium and sodium are also that. Uh, yeah, uh, don't ask me more details because then we're, then we're getting into like really crazy organic chemistry that I, I don't remember.